Hello friends, this is Sam. Today what we are going to talk about, we'll see how to develop REST web service client in BW6. REST web service, what is that? So it is representational state transfer. Okay, so in other session I have already explained what is REST web service, how to develop rest web service so that is not the point of discussion over here here we are assuming that rest web service is already developed in tipco business work 6 and what it is doing currently i am using browser as a client for that and that browser is actually sending a request to rest web service and it is returning employee json let me show you that my uh, rest based web service so i already have rest based web service created in uh, business work 6 and what it is doing it is let me run that so rest web service it is employee details inquiry and this is what my rest based web service is okay so it is already there here let me show you that so this rest based web service it is returning the employee the resource name is already employee which I have configured already so if I go here and check it so here uh, it can show me the resource name is employee okay so using this employee I'll access this particular uh, let me show you here cool so you can see the local host so it is running on my current machine and the port number is 9494 so that's what is already there in stdp connection resource okay so rest based web service is already there let me just execute that let me just execute this not this this okay so it is there and let me debug this Let us wait till it is getting executed completely. As long as we get started application started message. So that's all that will be fine. Okay, BW application started started BW application. So we are good. So my uh, rest based web service is running. So let me do one thing let me just uh, invoke that web service from the browser so this is what my resource uri of the rest web service i just say let me execute that okay so now it is internet explorer so let me just try out chrome so chrome will actually give me the proper uh, this thing so let me open new chrome window okay and here it is let me just copy this and let me put it here so what my web service is returning it is returning employee details of course this is hard-coded employee but that's fine you can write the database logic and you can fetch you can take parameters from browser and you can send a specific employee details in JSON but right now I am returning hard-coded JSON object from my rest web service point is how to develop rest client in business works that is what the discussion point today so let me do one thing let me try building it here so let me go to design perspective and let me stop the execution of this web service now okay let me jump to design perspective and let me just create my new okay so let us create the new project so bw application module i am creating okay let me call it as rest web service client demo one that's the name of the bw application that's fine all defaults are okay let's finish okay so my project got created now 
first thing your rest client so how you will invoke the rest web service so in the rest palette you go to rest and json palette and in that you do have invoke rest api so this particular activity you have to use to invoke the rest web service so i'm just taking it it not the starter activity so let me take it timer timer i'll take okay and uh, what i do uh, because before so i'm going to execute rest web service and the client at the same time in the same business studio i'm going to execute both of them so what i want my web service should be executed first and then my client should be executed so here i will put one delay so let me put one slip over here of maybe let's say 10 20 second so let me just put that let's say 10 second delay i put 10 second milli 10000 milliseconds so 10 second it is let me connect this timer let me connect this and now if you look at let me take this end also okay so if you look at this invoke rest api now first thing let us configure it completely invoke rest api first thing it will require we should tell this client where exactly my web service running what is the host name and what is the port number okay so port number is we know that port number is 9494 and the host name is localhost so where to give that details so i need to create http client resource for that remember okay so http client resource how is it so the way in the web service we create http connection resource so if you look at my web service rest web service so here if i look at rest web service so i do have this connection resource this is my connection resource at a web service side in which i mentioned localhost and 9494 similarly at the client side i need to have http client so let me go to the client and let me create resource so i'm going to resources and uh, here i will be creating that so resource new and here i don't want this http connector i want this http client so i'm creating that finish and there i just have localhost that's fine and the port number which i want is 9494 that's perfect so other thing absolutely okay now remember one thing whenever you want to uh, connect to the rest based web service always change this okay so here uh, it is for rest i want to have apache http component as the implementation library remember that it is clearly mentioned for http and soap use this for http and rest use this so I will be using rest so this is the important setting you have to change implementation library it has to be apache http component so i just selected that i just put the port number i just put the localhost that's great let's save the project and now attach this uh, attach this http client to my process so here just let us browse that and i attach it and perfect now the resource path so localhost and 9494 is done but the uri uniform resource identifier for a rest web service that is employee in my case so just mention it employee and save uh, i'm okay with get method json and uh, json that's fine so i don't mind doing that so we are not sending any parameter from the web service client so let it be as it is it will hit the web service and it will get the uh, employee details over there so let me see that firstly what i want is in the debug configuration i will make the setting that both rest web service and less client rest client will be executed so rest web service client demo one and rest web service this one both i want to debug so i just debug both of them firstly my web service should be executed and then my uh, client should be invoke rest api should be executed so for that i just include that uh, delay uh, slip activity i have used already let's see 
you will you will get that here okay so you can see my client started but it's just waiting at sleep okay so not to worry till the time it is waiting at sleep my web service will be also executed so you can see that gradually my web service is also executed it is uh, listening on a particular port and then invoke rest api got it if i go to this exit and check out the values of job data i will able to see this message i got this message from the web service so in that message this ascii contain attribute it contains employee id this 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 so employee details got return from web service to web service client so this is how uh, we can develop rest web service client in tipco bw sig we are using invoke rest api activity which is uh, inside rest palette okay i hope this is helpful for you and you enjoyed this session thanks for watching this session see you in the next session friends thank you